the only thing you brought is your your car back to England, and it fits down literally no roads <laughs> in all of England. <laughs> you're like heaven. This is you're my like, house people, on wheels. People, people are like skidding off the road to avoid you. You're like in this <laughs> giant tank going through the vibrations That's from your right. V six. Your V six six power boys. <laughs> the, the, Honestly, the, that would make me the fastest man in England. The shaking, the shaking from your V six engine is crumpling every 4,000 year old building that you drive by. <laughs> Get off the road! <laughs> He's coming! Tom's coming! Hello. Welcome <sighs> back to Cream Crew. Hello. Hunter, you were saying, Hunter, you were saying before this started that, uh, I finished the entire despite, second season yeah, of Love on the Spectrum. Des, I did. Des, despite being the biggest hater. <laughs> no, no, no. You fell in love with the charming, charming ways of those charming, charming people. <clears throat> I guess I want to preface this by saying I wasn't hating on the autistic people. I was hating on the okay. idea of making the show. I think the... <clears throat> Going through it, I felt like I, I think that you know what's fucked up though is I was it it, it was a weird moral quandary that I was having when I was going through it because I was sitting there and I was like, it feels wrong for me to watch this, but then I found myself really enjoying like every character, and I think it's just because <laughs> they're so they're so mentally different than a normal human being that I think that it's just oh, because kind. thank you the uh, I, I think that the I think the difference is on the TLC show, right? You're kind of waiting for somebody to say something like they're, they're hiding something or they're doing something that's going to be malicious versus the people in love on the spectrum are like unfiltered and they're just pretty much innocent. Just like bystanders. It's like watching a very opt. It's like watching an optimistic, uh, being just kind of go through and want something very simple or whatever, but they're pretty honest with how they, how they approach things. I, I I don't know. Does that make sense or whatever? Like if it's, if it's 90 day fiance, they try to present, you know, you you try to be presented as all nice and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden it's just like, maybe you're hiding the fact that you have kids. You've never told your partner that your significant other, you had kids or something. So it's just like a weird shady thing where, I don't know. You're, you're wanting somebody to be mad. Whereas yeah. On love on the spectrum. When that girl obsessed with animation finds out that, you don't have your own animation company. She will literally spit in your eyes yeah. and walk away. <laughs> you, and that's kind of cute. She looks physically disturbed. And then immediately she's like, no, I just don't think it's going to work that day. It, it just, yeah, I don't know. It's just nice. I like the, uh, I like the, uh, it's just very simple. I don't know. It's very simple. I enjoyed it. I, I, found, I found myself, I found myself, Beautiful. I found myself acting like all of the, people I was criticizing is if, if, oh yeah if, slapping if being... your belly and laughing and giggling <clears throat> no more so being like oh I hope this works out for him <laughs> that kind of thing <laughs> did it work out for any of them like were there any success stories because I'm not going to watch the rest of it yeah yeah, 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 the, yeah definitely uh, fucking whatever his face is with the, the Africa chick yeah there's people from the first oh, yeah, season. I, I, yeah, but I know that that doesn't count. You can't just parade the same couple around for five seasons because it's the well, only time it worked. Up. I think that they can actually, because I think it's going to lead up to a wedding. I think it's the long con. Mm -hmm. I think is the, what they're doing to show like this from conception to full blown marriage. I think that's absolutely what they're prepping up for. <laughs> from just conception to full blown start, marriage back to conception. Do you yeah. think they start um, whispering in David or whatever's ear? You gotta marry her. She's gonna get away, dude. Bro. You gotta wife you gotta her, her up, dude. She's gonna, <laughs> dude. If you don't put a ring on that, she's gonna leave, dude. There's a Zootopia Wait. two premiere with your name on it. If you <laughs> propose to her, <laughs> look here's here's six hundred dollars. Go get a ring. That's what I'm saying. Though it's a lot of money. But I, I think, but already, I think he already has money. This whole season's him. He shows up, remember, to the house of that with his hate speech board, whatever, from his rally, whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then he... Uh, yeah, I remember that scene. And then he he takes her to Kenya. That would not be a cheap trip. My father, and he's it's... always buying her gifts and shit, like, like all kinds of stuff. He's always, like, has... 
even if it's like, you know, like you're saying he got her a plushie every time or whatever. Accumulated in there's, whatever. Let me go. There's no way he's got enough money from pushing carts around to pay. The production is 100% doing that. Nepo, baby. And if anything, is. If anything, it's like bad because what's going to happen when the cameras aren't rolling and she's like, so where do we go to Kenya again? And he's like, mm-hmm. um, probably you know Neville. what I mean? It's like setting up this fa- false life. Probably Neville. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I like lions. Pro- probably devil. Probably keep saying. Yeah, and then it fucking crumbles and it all falls apart. And I think, uh, I think Nepo know. baby. Nepo baby. Oh, is that, yeah, he's, he's a trust fund kid. Yeah, that's what I think. I think he, I think out of an act of humility for the show, they made him get a cart job, and he despises it because he hates he hates the middle and lower class society. <laughs> he hates the fucking blood sucking pores on, on welfare. He only took it just so when the cameras off or the mics aren't rolling, he's like making fun of how poor everyone is. Oh, they're disgusted. So dependent, so dependent on everyone around them. Yeah, someone's being like someone's <laughs> being like patronizing to him, and he's like, I could buy you. <laughs> Don't talk down to me. I My can dad buy owns you. the biggest applesauce factory in Wisconsin. Exactly. Yeah, the biggest applesauce factory. And he, I'll make you into sauce and bottle you. Just like my that dad does to those apples. That would be absolutely horrifying. <laughs> a down, like a Down syndrome applesauce nepo baby guy who's like, <laughs> I'm going to smash and grind you and tell you in a bottle. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, then you get fucking Just, fed to the safari animals. No one's the wiser. I felt bad for the driver though. The driver of this, uh, the Kenyan, uh, like safari tour thing. Because mm-hmm. I think it's like three separate you see days. Him? Yeah, yeah, you see him. Is it? Because she's just she, like a. Because she's like. Is fu- it like a black African guy who's never seen like a like Autistic retarded people in his life? In the, yeah. I don't know. I, they didn't go that in depth. What the what the hell is going on I here? I don't understand. <laughs> what is have going on? Have you been drinking mist? You <laughs> say, have you been drinking milk? No, have you been drinking mist? Because that <laughs> chick always like, acts Have drunk. you been drinking milk? I don't know if that's like a. <laughs> you know, if you had drink more milk, has, out, this would not have happened. It causes in Kenya. Googly they eyes. Don't have... That's that's would be the thing is uh, in the Kenyan government autism and mental retardation. Is uh, called googly eyes. It gives you googly eyes. <laughs> you you have a case of the googlies, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> that actually rules. How unfortunate for you. How unfortunate for you to have a case of googly. <laughs> that's what the doc. That's what the doctor's <laughs> saying in the in the in the room, like in the doctor's office. <laughs> I'm afraid to tell you this, but. You have a cast of the googly. Of <laughs> the googly. It's okay. It's going to be did you guys okay. Hear, did you guys hear about that? Um, I think the guy, it was something like Elon Musk retweeted, so who knows. But so the guy uh, that's up to be the new PM of South Africa was saying like, yeah, they, 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 God, what did he say? He was he was going on about killing all the white people or whatever, and then they were asking him one. like, all right, "So if you get elected, are you going to genocide all the white people?" And he's like, "Yes." Uh, it, I'm well, his not answer, yeah, his <laughs> answer literally amounted to maybe, maybe I we don't know yet. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I think that maybe it's in the cards. <laughs> maybe What's that's funny is maybe that's the, 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 moment- the hidden South African artist. That's that's what they do, you know. He's got the googly. He's got Is the there, googly. He's gonna kill all yeah. the white people. They oh, okay. A... So a perfectly rational person without the googly can't want to genocide the whites. That's what you're saying. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. Hey, I'll be back. What's funny in, uh, is like the moment minutes. the moment he does that. The moment he decides to genocide the whites, whatever. Mm. The whole like farming industry in that country will collapse. And literally, they won't be able to feed themselves. And the whole fucking thing is just going to... Like, I think that same thing happened in one of those other countries where they did that. They're like, oh, no. <laughs> I got elected. I'm going to do it. Just And then within, like, I don't know, 30 just, years, they're like, please come back. Please. Because all those people are the ones who have, like, learned how to farm over all that time or whatever. So, just, probably not the best idea. Just a small town girl. 
Laughing in a lonely oh, world. Lonely world. <laughs> Took the midnight train. Took the midnight box on rails. To anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's his fucking, that's his election campaign. Steve! Oh my god, he has the voice of an angel. You have the voice of an angel. <laughs> you are <laughs> so beautiful. So beautiful. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, no, that's, uh, other than that, I've just been working, but I did, I binged the fuck out of that show, but, I, I mean, that's it. I, it's my life. That's uh, you know what? There's there's worse ways to live. I'll say I'll say that. You I started think so. uh, you started taking off like weekends, which is you know very. The hunter I know would never would never take a an hour off, let alone a whole weekend. So, what's going on? Just trying to be healthy. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I found that um, my productivity is a lot better too. Like if I legitimately just don't do anything work work related, even like um, if I draw, it's just in my sketchbook. It's nothing really for um, work stuff or anything like that. Consumption, right? Right. Yeah, right. but like, I mean, like I enjoy doing it, so it's you know. But the I even then I try to be pretty minimal with what I'm doing, but I, I don't know. I think that like, but then by the time Monday gets around, you're kind of like, like a excited dog, you know, is that your owner's holding you by the, the collar and then they let go and you just like start sprinting versus, uh, it just being a perpetual forever grind thing. So and it's been, it's been nice to take the, the weekends and do that. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's really, I know it sounds stupid, but it's really hard to do. <laughs> it's so hard to take, like, because you're just like, oh, my God, whilst I sit here and do nothing, everything is crumbling and I'm going to die. And then you're like, well, just a little work wouldn't hurt. And before yeah. you know it, you're fucking, you know, balls deep in redesigning a tracking system or whatever the fuck. And it's like scratching. Yeah, a, it's just a it's like scratching a false economy, uh, like a bug bite or something. You should just leave it alone. Yeah. But it's like just so satisfying just to scratch it a little bit to get that relief, but you know, you're just doing more damage than anything. But, uh, yeah, no, I don't know. It's been good. It's been good. Also, I've been able to like catch up. I've been going to like movies more because of that. And I saw a zone of interest. Did I, t did I talk about this or no? No. What's that one? It's a new a 24 film. That's about the, it's like the, about Auschwitz, about the, the guy who runs Auschwitz. Oh, <clears throat> and Don went and saw that. There was something where uh, I think it's like well done, but it's like a it's like a it's a weird thing when it's like we were t I was talking with Nick and Harry about this whenever we left the theater. And I think it was Harry who said it just feels like a movie that didn't need to be made. What is it like? Cause, OK, so I heard a little bit about the film and from my understanding, which is very limited, it's you essentially are with a German family who lives near Auschwitz, or maybe it's Polish family, I don't know. No, you're, um, you're with a German family, but it's the guy okay. who is running Auschwitz. <clears throat> so he oh, is, oh, well, that's, the, that's a lot more interesting. He's the guy who is doing <laughs> Honey, it. Honey, I'm home. And it is, oh, there, there's, some like, there's some like very <laughs> fucked up, there's like some really fucked up parts of it and stuff, and it really doesn't get, because uh, you know what a lot of these World War II films do that I... I understand what they're trying to do with, um, you know, if you're doing a World War II film, I think you, you're you really trying to show, especially if it's like Holocaust stuff, you're really trying to show the human suffering because it's a real thing and it is like impactful. And I think that it's a way for a person to be like, this is what happened, you know, during these times, et cetera. Um, but this film did it in a different way because also in these movies too, usually Nazis in World War II or like, Nazi films are very like cartoonishly evil. Uh -huh. um, and in this one, it's literally a slice of life of this guy living with his family and his house is right outside the gates of Auschwitz. And like, you yeah, see, the, you, you see the prison and everything, the smokestacks, like all this kind of crazy stuff, but they're like existing in this world. Um, outside of that 
trying to be normal and like there's like little things that seep into like you sh- you can see but the movie doesn't like overly gratuitous with when it comes to like like there's a part where one of the because he has like jewish uh housekeepers or like pretty much slaves or whatever that you know clean them clean up stuff or whatever and they're like washing his boots outside and it's just like a maybe a three second clip of like them starting the water and starting to wash it and then you just see like blood kind of come off the base of it so it's not like it, you hearing like you don't hear or see any of the actual. Well, you, you hear some of it. Actually, that's the interesting part. My bad. So I know I'm rambling, but you don't see any of the actual death. It's all alluded to. And then they do a thing that's kind of interesting is like he's talking about his new pool he got. And in the background, every once in a while, you hear a gunshot or you hear dogs barking and stuff. And then some nights it's like even crazier. It's just like an interesting thing. And then, like, they kind of slowly reveal how fucking, like, twisted they are. Like, the movie does a really good job about, like, revealing things in time. Which you... They're Nazis at the beginning. So, you know. But it, it does do a thing where it's, <laughs> like... In it. It's not spoilers, everyone. It's not spoilers. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I mean, like, you go into it being, like, fuck these people. But then the movie does a fuck, like, a weird thing by... Like, they have kids. And they're, like, having dinners and stuff. Like, like it's... There's, like, a humanity to it. That's kind of interesting. Uh-huh. So I, I don't know. Like that was the the biggest and most interesting part of that to me was the reveal of like how demented this guy's mind is. But more so, uh, it's not just like a cartoony like Hollywood film of someone being like Nazis are evil. And it's like no shit. But more of kind of an interesting take of uh, you know these people were living lives and doing things, and they probably like thought what they were doing was justifiable and you know, patriotic and all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, well, you know, I don't imagine they were like, this is so wrong. You know what I mean? So I, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, no, I, I, there's like a, the, what the, I think what the movie does well is the guy is kind of the conflict of the movie is they are wanting to bring in a new guy to run it, to run Auschwitz. And it's him coming to terms with losing this like perfect life he has. And even his wife is like, I'm not moving. Like, I am not going to move. This is like my heaven. She has everything she could ever want. And it's just, it's just like an interesting thing. You know what I mean? Where it's like somebody so desperately trying to fight to stay <laughs> at Auschwitz. Um, and that kind yeah, of thing. Usually, so usually the opposite, huh? Yeah. Usually people are not wanting to get out of there. Actually, that was a funny, uh, that was a funny Lucy, Lucy K bit where he was like uh what did he say he's like i think it's fucked up that they sell tickets to auschwitz <laughs> or whatever <laughs> <laughs> he's like you go there and he's like just thinking about thinking about people back in the day looking at each other and they're being like can you can you believe people are gonna pay pay tickets to get in here <laughs> you know and stuff like that, I that was pretty funny. <clears throat> uh, fuck but i they, haven't kept up with him since you know he was masturbating in plants or whatever <laughs> thing he did um i enjoy is he, is he like he's putting out stuff is he has he been redeemed or whatever i mean i think so i mean he will never be at the level that he was again i don't think but i think that he still does he does very well on like podcasts i don't know if he has his own but he does like a lot of guest appearances and they always do very well good for him yeah he always did he always did just like a bunch of shit that um creatively that i really enjoyed that wasn't so mm. comedy centric too did I you ever do Louis? Yeah, well, I'd say Louis kind of funny. I mean, it's definitely like a black comedy kind of thing, but I liked Louis a lot. Um, but more so, like, I really loved Horace and Pete. I don't know if you ever saw that, but that was like a really fun, pretty much just a direct screenplay or it was a stage play, basically, but it was like shot as if it's like an old timey kind of sitcom thing, almost like it was like a 70s um, British sitcom. Because who did huh. I, who did I hear he. He really liked this guy, this British director. He was in Harry Potter as a character, and I didn't know that he was actually a director. Who's the guy who turns into the fucking werewolf? Oh. I thought the guy who turned into a werewolf was fucking Gary Oldman. Am I high? Let's play with David Thewlis. Oh, okay. David Thewlis um, is like an incredible actor, but he's a great... uh, great writer and stuff. And he did a lot of like stage plays and stuff like that. And I remember hearing this, <clears throat> seeing this clip of him 
and he did this like this really it's like a it was like a almost like one I don't know if it was one take but it was this thing that he did back in like the fucking 70s or something like that that was like I want to say it was um I'm trying to find the name of it. Sorry. It's it's basically like a suburban neighborhood. These like neighbors come together for a dinner or whatever. And it's, it's shot like a state. It's, it's shot like a stage play. Cause that's where he came from. And it's interesting to see that because you can see the influence that had with uh Horace and Pete for, uh, um, Lucy K stuff. I know I'm, my, my brain is very slow. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's all that time off you're taking, rotting your brain from the inside out. <laughs> yeah. Who would have thought? There, I mean, there is a weird like the dichotomy there where like, well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm stupid. And everything I'm about to say is stupid. But when people stop working, they die. That's true. I know that's true. Um, but also, obviously, when people stop learning, their brain atrophies. It's more like you're more likely to get like dementia and shit if you stop like learning new stuff. So part of me wonders if the constant grind of like applying yourself does that like help your brain or does it hurt it? I don't know. I think it's a it's a it's a fine line. I think it's impossible. I think it's impossible to navigate. I think that there's like things you can do where it's like ge- like the general practice is that. This is inevitably good for your brain, but I think also, I think your body just betrays you in some way. You just have to hope that it isn't in your mind. Also, apparently the God guy- God damn, I wish my body <coughs> would stop betraying me as you smash like another JD. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why is it like this? Uh, also, it's Mike Lay, not David Thulin. It's David Thulin, whatever, was the guy who acted in his stuff, but it's Mike Lay is the writer and director, and it, it's Abigail's party for anybody, listeners who are- um, any listeners who are curious about that? Abigail's party. I'll tell you something cool that I got. What's that? My, my little... So if you're an absolute fucking dork like me, mm. um, they with, with UFC, right? I found this thing. So basically like... A, a, let me try and give some backstory to give context as to why I think this is cool. <clears throat> so there's this fighter called Sean Strickland, right? He's very brash, very loud mouth. You know, funny. Um, is that the g- people hate is, him. is that the guy who <clears throat> right went now, on a rant about, against the Canadian? <laughs> I think it might have been him. Then I think I, th- I think it's a lot because there was also another guy who was talking about. Um, I think it was like trans people or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's him. Okay, it's him. But that's not really the important part of this story. The important part is like he was a massive, 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 massive underdog. Like massive underdog. No one thought he could win against this guy who's like a very decorated champion, beats the fuck out of everyone, uh, called Israel Adesanya. <coughs> and, you know, he's, that that guy is, I don't know, he's whatever. Like, he's kind of super cringe. And this other guy, you know, cringe in his own way, but in a way that I think is f- funnier. Um, and anyway, he beat him. He beat him. It's like this massive underdog story. Everyone counted him out. I was like, oh my God, dreams do come true. So you can actually buy like a piece of the canvas that that whole event was on. Mm. And it comes in like a little like uh, acrylic or some resin like comes in a little box you can put on your desk as a trophy. And I was praying. I was praying so much that my piece of canvas would have some blood stain on it. And it fucking does. And I was so happy. And I just thought I'd share that with everyone. Can you take a picture of it and put it in the chat so I can see it? I can try and like put it up to camera. It's the tiniest little blood stain, but blood non- nonetheless. Hold on. Take a picture with your phone and just put it in the chat. I just want to see it. Okay. <clears throat> Got an air fryer. It's the newest addition to my studio. <laughs> I hear they're good. I still haven't used it. Today I was going to go and get some like, because this thing is fucking insane, dude. It says that it can cook a, oh, that's, that's a cool little, I like the little case it comes in. Does it, is it like a desk stand thing? Yeah. So you just stand up on your desk and I know it's like gay and cringe, but I was kind of like, I don't this think is it my is. little dreams. Dreams do come true. This is a cool, a uh, plaque. this is a cool thing too, or you could just, you could even put like a little frame around it and like hang it up on the wall in like a tiny frame kind of thing. I think it's sick. Yeah. That's really cool. If you're a fucking fan of the UFC, why wouldn't you want that? That thing's... How much was that? 
I think it was like hundred and something. That's not bad. That's fucking cheaper than the tickets to go to the thing, probably. Oh, oh, bro. <laughs> yeah, by a long fucking way. But yeah, I was like, I don't know. I, it's just everyone counted it out so much. And I was like, oh my God, this guy fucking walks down a champion and beat him. And I was just like, <laughs> I got it. I want a piece of history. And then you see on the top left, it's got a little little bit of little splatter of blood. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful. That's fucking sick, man. Thank you, Hudo. It'd be the same thing as if you went to like a Metallica concert and you caught like a James Hetfield pick or something. Or something yeah. like that. You know I, do, I mean, I do hope that this is uh, Israel Adesanya's blood. That would be sick. But who knows? Could be anyone's blood. Could be one of the prelim fighters' blood and then it's worthless. To the air fryer. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, yeah. I just, I, I just, I'm catching up with myself mentally. Um, this thing has two trays in it, to where you can cook like proteins and the thing. So, like, if I wanted to, I could cook raw chicken and rice at the same time or something like that. Which I was wondering about that. I'm like, Ooh. is that is that? Which if it's on a different, if, if it's on a different tray, then because it's two different trays, they're not touching. But still, I'm like, does that? Is that okay? But apparently that's like, you can make like meals all in one go. Like they have like preset um, buttons in there to where like, if you put like, you know, a chicken breast or whatever, like you can put like a bunch of chicken breasts in there and then you can even put like pasta or like, you know, vegetables, anything too, and cook it. And it cooks, cooks it all to where it's just done at one time, which I was like, holy shit, that'd be fucking awesome. You know, easy to be just to be like, oh, you have like just some raw chicken in the fridge. You take out, like, you put the little bottom tray, put a little water in there, and put some rice in there, too, and then you just uh, you just walk away from it, and you just come back, and it's already done. You throw in a plate. Easy peasy. So I'm, I'm going to try it today. That's literally what I need People in my, in my existence. Well, I was like, I kept thinking about it. I was like, you know, I wish I kind of had, like, a rice pot for the studio and, like, a crock pot to where you could just have, like, you could have some, like, nice nice juicy shredded chicken or something like that and then just kind of like scoop out some rice as you can the problem with that is like it's just you know shit goes bad are you making too much are you throwing things away so this is like i'm hoping that it's as convenient as like i just know i want this meal you cook that thing and then you clean it whatever and you're good to go versus having like a bunch of leftovers and stuff because that was a big reason why i got it because I've been doing a thing where I've been making like <clears throat> chicken, and, but then I've been like microwaving it. It's fucking terrible. Like trying to meal prep, awful. Like microwaving, microwaving meat just dries it out really bad, <laughs> and it's fucking terrible. So you have to like get like sauce or something else. So I'm hoping that this keeps it like a faster alternative to like I guess like getting out of that process. But they say too, people swear by air fryers. I, I've been hearing it for fucking years, like reheating things. All kinds of shit. People say oh, it's like what the you're talking about? Air fryers? Yeah, I just got a ninja Yeah, air things fryer. are pretty crazy when yeah. when you left there for a moment. We talked about Nazis and now we're on air fryers. <laughs> nice. Well, we, we were talking about uh, South African genocide when I left. It's a so. perfect transition. No, I, yeah. Air he, fryers are nice, dude. That's what, when Wexy leaves me and I have to fend for myself, I, uh, um, you just put the, you literally, it's like idiot proof. You put the chicken in. On Bro, one side it's, and... so, it's so funny. That is, I think that is literally the thought every man in existence has. I have had that thought. What? What? You know, when this all goes to shit, this is my salvation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this, That's this cool being a chef. man, baby. That's cool being yeah. a child with Sonic toys. Yeah. <laughs> I think my it's more so. I was going to keep me going. No, that, that fucking thing, it, it cooks chicken like no matter what perfectly every time like i don't think i don't think it can dry chicken out i'd like I, i'm stoked to try it i'm stoked i'm, I'm really mm. stoked to try it i just it, it's less about i guess salvation thing because it's like if i wanted to i could cook something <laughs> i could cook something it's more so just All the right, fact that it's like I, I could i could well anybody could you could i mean i don't know i don't know if maybe you're fucking yes, incompetent stop, stop bragging hunter but i guess it i mean uh, i could cook <laughs> i guess i mean it's just the fact of taking <laughs> taking time to do all that it's just time. How how simple can it be? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because then inevitably, the problem with me is that I could do those things, so but I'm not going to because it's easier just to be like, I'm just going to DoorDash seven cheeseburgers and call it a day. Whatever. You know what I mean? 
Versus yeah, like, it is, the t- it is the time thing. If you can sure. just like be like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna throw this thing and press a button and walk away for a second yeah. and come back and it's already done. That feels a lot more approachable than, especially like if I'm at my studio, going back down from my studio to my house, eating and then coming back. All that kind of shit just is like, it's just additional steps for your brain to be like, that's too much. Even though it's not, <laughs> but you, your brain will inevitably fuck you. Do you uh when you order DoorDash, do you make them walk to your slave barn? To no. Give you the food? No, I just have How, my... What's the layout at your house? I just like? have my assistant go grab it at the gate. <laughs> Pretty oh, much. Cool. Yeah. That's almost, <laughs> yeah. That's almost better. And also, since I've had my assistant here too, I just say, I want this, go grab it. And then they go out and get it. So that's... So make him dress like a slave? No, they have... He has a regular, uh, you know, regular outfit on. Regular human clothes. <laughs> Yep. He's not even black. It wouldn't the joke would barely make sense. <clears throat> well that's that's why you have to go like like uh you know, you, you can't just have like the um the like field hand fatigues. You gotta like fucking shoe polish huh? Cloth cloth diaper thing, you know. Is it sla- okay. is it slavery if they get or if they're getting paid? Because <laughs> this is a, this is a full blown job this man has. It's, wage, no, it's wage. Just, yeah, but slave. it's just his. It's just his uniform because he works on a themed, uh, you know, plantation. a themed. Res- uh, that's right, a themed yeah. resort, a themed workspace. I think there's aren't there places in the south like plantations where people get married and they have like. I doubt they up. have people. I well, doubt they, they yeah, have they black don't, actors they don't, in the no, back. They don't have that. Cotton. They don't have that set of employees, <laughs> but, but they have right. the other sets walking around. Yeah. You know, well, something making, really making feels it like it's uh, missing from this wedding. This theme. It's like <laughs> they didn't really want to go all the way. Did you guys ever oh, see that key, that key and peel bit where the black guys in the Civil War reenactment go up to the South actors and they're acting like slaves, or whatever? It's so fucking funny. Oh yeah, I have. I have. Some <laughs> we don't there. want to have any trouble now. <laughs> Going up to him and stuff, <laughs> and the actors are like trying. They're like, <laughs> they're trying not to feel like dicks. So they're just like, "Oh, you big strong white men, whatever kind of thing." And the guys like, "Can you guys get out of here?" <laughs> the, the Civil War actors. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if in the South there's like some weird fucked up like racist redneck wedding where they do that a time gone by i wonder how much you'd have to pay to get someone to sign up to be the field hand in that in that yeah. wedding i don't know <laughs> yeah well, i i i, 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 many, give, many I give an ex- i give it. listeners in the comment <laughs> yeah you give an exact, <laughs> an exact <figure>. number <laughs> Two hundred eighty-five dollars. Oh, no, probably about yeah, probably to about two hundred eighty-five dollars. Two hundred eighty-five dollars before maybe. taxes, and then uh, it's around three twenty after taxes. It's a surplus tax, but that would be funny. That would be great. <laughs> That'd be hysterical. Don, I don't know if you heard, but my sick UFC canvas from the Strickland Adesanya fight came, and I'm bragging <laughs> about it. I did, I did not. That's it's sick. got That's tight. blood on it's it. Blood on, it's it has blood, blood on it. It, it does. Yeah, it's got dude. blood on it. I Fuck fucking yeah. didn't. I say I wanted that. Didn't I say that? Yeah. Would well, do you pay extra for blood? No, sure. I just, the fucking will of the gods. This is like all over again when I got Charizard, when I asked my mom if I could get a pack of Pokemon cards, and she was like, fine. I, and I was like, I need Charizard, and Charizard was in the pack. This is the same thing. I'm telling this you, boys. This is just, this is God trying to get you to realize he's there. He wants you to turn You know to what? Christ. He's he's doing the wrong thing, because I keep getting treasures for not believing <laughs> I like to think that you That's don't like believe. I like to think you don't behavior. believe, but at the same time, part of me thinks that when you're by yourself, you like whimsically look up like an eight year old to your ceiling, and you're like, "Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for this." And if I could get a a, a copy of Sonic Adventure Two in my stocking this year, that would be really awesome. That would be. I want to see. I want to see a picture of the canvas. Can you send it? It's you in the general chat. Oh, let's see. <clears throat> I like the frame it came in too, honestly. It's classy, ironically enough. It is, yeah. For oh yeah, you got, you got a little, a little drop. That's nice. It's nice, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm not greedy. Yeah. I don't need it to be like saturated in blood, or that would be <clears> fucking <throat> sick. It would be. Well, I'll take my little splatter. But, yeah. All right. Well, don't need to. <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> well, the thing is, like, they must. Uh, 
If you if how much did you fucking we well, don't have to say. I know you spent a lot on this, but when they wrap the octagon, it's like a hundred and something. It must wrap around the sides, you know, like down. And I'm sure they sell that shit too that nobody ever touched. So yeah, that's some bullshit, huh? Yeah, so this is nice. You got. Oh, well, you got so some part action. of me thought they would. Part of me thought it was basically like, yeah, we, yeah, it's the canvas from the event, retard, and they just fucking cut out a strip of like brand new canvas off a yeah, roll. Yeah, it looks. <laughs> so that why, like, the fact this has blood on it is enough for me because I know it. It's real, unless it's like some a, guy getting pin pricks on his fingertips, yeah, like on the a, assembly a Looney line. Looney Tunes like paintbrush mm -hmm. that paints some like oil on it to make it look. Yeah. Used. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. What a beautiful sick. day, huh? What a beautiful, what a what a great event that was. Mm -hmm. Dr dreams come true, boys. Hey, everyone listening, dreams come true. I like the cool font. Yeah. Well, I'm a cool guy, so. I mean, you are a cool guy. Sorry, I didn't yeah, mean to uh, nice. d distract from the the plantation talk. C please yes. continue. Hunter's Hunter's slave plantation that he lives in. Back to that. Beautiful, beautiful property. <laughs> so do you, you, do you think what, um, you're, you're gonna die there, Hunter? People, what, what people, are, people have the... people have actually come up to me and said this is a very freeing field. Is what they say when they coming to. That's like, nice. Oh, that's nice. Do you think? Do you think you when donkey. you die there, your your ghost is is gonna have to commingle with the with the slaves? I hope so, dude. <laughs> it's gonna be awkward for you. I'd love to have a. I love to. Well, I don't know. Like, be so awkward. you sure have a lot of nice memories here, huh? I don't know why it'd be awkward for me, dude. And I'd be like, damn, different times, huh? And like, me and you. Well, the, no, they'll be like, you, you lived here for 20 years and you never, in the end, you never tore down the, the, the barracks, like you said. You I'd would. say, no, never, Honestly. never got around to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's really, I tried, I tried, but mm, didn't, didn't seem to pan out. That's why I'd say. As they as they watch daily cheeseburgers be delivered by hand, not Taco not Bell, even from the DoorDash man, but from your assistant. Yeah, from my <laughs> from, from my Hawaiian <laughs> assistant who's driving up. Whatever. Which, to be does, fair, does he drive when they up? go out, they get he gets lunch for everybody. It's not just me, but for everybody. Oh, Harry's right, from yeah, Hawaii. No. That's cool. I think so. Yeah, I'm a, you I think, think so? You, but you're not sure. Was well, mom's from Hawaii, so uh, he grew up in uh, grew up in California, but I think it's Hawaiian descent. Is what I, is yeah. what I mean. You're Hawaiian, right? Yeah, he's never said Hawaii once in his life. Uh, like, probably Hawaiian. Probably from the island. I don't blame you, man. Man, if it you looks could, beautiful out there. If you could go back, does Harry like being your slave? I don't know. I mean, I mean, he hasn't quit, so I'd imagine it's probably not bad. <laughs> I feel like it's a pretty chill job. That tends to happen when you take someone's passport. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I'm, I'm hiding it. <laughs> Is that? Uh, do you know what, dude? When all of this crumbles down, can I be your assistant? I'll fucking usurp him. I'll do a way better job. Yeah, that'd be nice because then I'd be able to like riff around, and then I'd get more out of it too because I'd be like, oh, I can. We'd riff and do comedy stuff. That'd be nice. Oh, there you go. All right, I'm down. What's the salary? Yeah, how, do you, how much are you paying, Tom? I'm not going to reveal. <laughs> oh, I, how much should I pay you? I would yeah, yeah. pay you, hmm, I would pay you $40,000 oh, a cute. year. That's cute. $40,000 a year. Yeah. Oh, boy, I think I bring a lot to the table. $40,000 a year. Well, you know, you don't have the experience as my last assistant. Had, so assistant. maybe in time, <laughs> maybe in time. I can work up to a healthy forty five thousand a year. Yeah, in like five years, when that's worth less than forty thousand, probably. But, but you, a, you know, continue to live in America. So but you, but worth, you get to you know? be a part of a Pog YouTube channel. Think about that. Yeah, dude. I have always wanted to be a part of a YouTube channel. That is true. What kind of place are you going to live in when you go to England? You know, what are you what are you looking at? What barrel are you staring down? I'm not staring down any barrel apart from the twelve gauge shotgun I keep hidden under my desk. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Do you look at that pretty often? Uh, every time I look down, I expect maybe there'll be something there for me. But so far, not yet. Is the, is the candy down here? Nope, just my gun. Exactly. Hopefully one day a, a giant piece of gobstopper is down there and I can pull the trigger and blow it through my cranium. The uh, I imagine you'd probably just live close to your family, is what I imagine. I don't know. Yeah, what, I don't know. Would, I don't know what kind of Candyland town that's called, but I imagine that it would be 
It would probably be. It's called Hawkingsbury on Trent. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> if, if that's real, that's <laughs> fucking intense. <laughs> You, you know what's fucked up? Like, you know what's fucked up like too is there's probably there's, is, there's probably not even a, out of a bag. There's probably not even a fucking gas station or a convenience store there. It's probably just like a bunch of fucking grass huts. And it's like ah, Hawkins Barry and Trent. Or the fuck you said it. Hawkins Barry and Trent. Oh my, it's good to be back. <laughs> Only a short <laughs> fifty minutes jaunt to the local shops by motor vehicle. <laughs> The main town, the town's main source of finances, harboring eagles' nest for tourists. <laughs> so we have a lot of birds that come through here. Sadly, England is not very famous for its eagles, so there's it's not many nests. Like, well, see, that's pigeons. what you think. It's you. I took them from America, and I put them here. They do not. Ah, like yes, it. bald eagles circling, hawking very <laughs> on trend. Hawkings. That's how you know you're getting close to the town, you see, for there will be 40 bald eagles circling every day from noon to dusk. People's cats. The cat population of Hawkingsbury on Trent is quite low due to the bald eagles. Has been devastated by the birds flying above. Quite the irony, isn't it? Well, that'll be fun. I'd love to see, I'd love to get it like an MTV Cribs thing for the cottage, for, for the cottage in your village that you move into. This is my upturned plastic barrel. Welcome to my upturned plastic barrel in Hawkingsbury on Trent. The only thing you brought, the only thing you brought is your, your car back to England and it fits down literally no roads in all of England. You're like heaven. This is my like, house people, on wheels. People People are like skidding off the road to avoid you. You're like in this <laughs> giant tank going through the vibrations That's from your right. V6. Your V6, V6 <laughs> power, boys. The, the, Honestly, the, that would make me the fastest man in England. The shaking, the shaking from your V6 engine is crumpling every four thousand year old building that you drive by. <laughs> <laughs> Get off the road! He's coming! Tom's coming! <laughs> he like it doesn't even sound like room. It's just like oh. no, of course, because it's a V six. By God, the decibels! That man is a menace, a public nuisance to Hawkinsbury on trend. I just didn't know. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny because every other car in England looks like it's made up and it's like from the Despicable Me universe. <laughs> <laughs> when I went, the first time I went, I remember I was on the bus with you guys and you were so jazzed to see a Mustang and it was just bizarre. Because, yeah, you, you like, All you right. see Willie over that yeah, day? Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. Willie over oh, that Willie? Mustang? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, yeah, that's right. Hey, guys, trust me. There's gonna be a whole lot cooler <laughs> stuff than that. <laughs> I'm a most popular. Yeah, sorry, Don. Sorry for the fucking being peasants. Commuting car. I thought punching down was frowned upon. Huh? What's that? Hunter's looking up the most popular uh, British car. It is I'm a guess, uh, uh, Vauxhall Corsa. What is it? Vauxhall Corsa. It says here the Ford that? Fiesta. Oh, okay. Well, that was close. <laughs> I don't th I've never heard of... Once again, it's strange. I'd love to go to a dealership in Candyland. I will take I will take the four... Can I have the four-wheel drive bubblegum go-kart, please? <laughs> <laughs> Why certainly you can. It's like kind of thing. Apparently, a, yeah, a used Ford Fiesta is the, big, is the most popular commuting car. Okay, well, I shows how much I know. I'm gonna, dude. I'm a fucking. I'm an American at this point. I don't even. I don't, I don't know anything about that place. It's foreign to me too. The Ford Puma. What a lot of Ford cars. A Ford Puma. I don't think I've even heard of a Ford Puma. Well, we are your vassal state, so. Mm -hmm. <sighs> looks like every. Yeah, it looks like every car cool. that like a lesbian would drive in the early two thousands. That's what all yeah, these that's Fords the look entire, like. Entire the entire country. Just those tiny little hatchbacks. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, yeah. You know. Well, <clears throat> you guys are gay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, uh. No, uh. 
I reject I'm sure you will really need and use your Ford F-150s to their full potential. Oh, I do. I do. Hey, uh, Harry, why don't you jump up in the Ford there and go get me that, uh, that, that burger? That's to the extent of your Ford F-150. Use. That was pretty good. That was a good bit. That was pretty good. I'm not going to lie. That was, that was strong. Um, <laughs> but no, I have been actually hauling quite a bit of it. And I have two, count them, two trailers. And not including my horse trailer. So, hmm, sorry, Tom, but I think you lose this one. <laughs> what do you use your trailers for? Hauling mostly lumber. I'm building more to my... Uh, my barn i'm adding on to it my studio bags of cotton bags and market. bags bags and bags of money that i throw into the streets and i i mm -hmm. give away my wealth <laughs> that's what i do i say here yeah, take it take it all everyone's cheering in the streets and i'm shooting it out of confetti stuff and i'm playing uh uptown funk through a large speaker <laughs> Don't believe me, just watch. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so sorry. So hey, sorry, libtards, but yeah. I, I just own that shit. No, I'm actually I am adding on to it. I'm very excited. I will say, it's funny, the people who built this barn, I was talking to them and they were quoting me or whatever. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'm going to go look at some options. I went to one other place. Can you guess what that was? Uh, what options what were you studio. looking for again? I was building my my studio, and this guy gave me a quote. And, what? and, I'm, and okay. I, I got a quote from him, and then I only went to one other place because that's all I needed the to go Home to. Home Depot parking lot. Almost. No. The Amish. Nice. Uh, and now the Amish classic. are coming out here. If I speak, if man, if, if, if you can speak, I, I think that they speak Dutch. It's I can't remember because um, they have a they have like a, 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 a communicator. They have like a middleman. You talk to him and he speaks whatever language. It's either German or Dutch. I'm pretty sure it's Dutch. But apparently, Just if you speak, fu Dutch learn fucking English. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's Dutch. Yeah, I. Uh, if you speak Dutch, apparently they love you. No, they, yeah, mm -hmm. but no, I, I saw so thinking about trying to do get some kind of things, but no, I'm uh, some Amish people are coming up soon. It's going to be very exciting. Do you know the best thing go, about Amish people? I'm going to go up to their the, fucking, I'm going to go to their okay. mute child. Sorry. I'm going to go to the mute child <laughs> who's wearing, it's important. who's wearing, it is very important. <laughs> who's wearing uh, his outfit that would be similar to that from the 1700s. And I, I keep turning on and off my iPhone and I play robot unicorn attack from the iPhone store <laughs> on it. And I'm like, this is an iPhone. And I'm like, Tom, I show him all this technology and he starts crying. And then I, uh, just keep introducing real world things. Sorry. You You're, could, you could abduct their children and they wouldn't be able to get them back. That's an interesting Why thought. That's <laughs> an, it's an it's interesting thought. It's not like they've got air tags on them. Run us through the. I love. I tags. I love. I love that. By the way, I love that sentence that you said. What sentence? Just that you could abduct they, their children. They don't have air tags on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what are they gonna do? How they're they gonna fucking horse and cart their way to the police station and babble in Dutch at them that a giant redneck man stole one of their children? Yeah, definitely. That's probably what they would do. They do eager yeah, for yeah. and then they'd be like, "What the hell are you even talking about?" Exactly, and therefore the you know I'm just I wonder how many have been taken. I guess we'd never even know. It's probably not stats on that. I doubt very many. I, I don't think that. I think there's a lot more. I mean, I don't want to say this negatively, but I feel like there's a lot more valuable candidates to kidnap versus an Amish person. Okay, or well, what does that mean? Well, they've already been kidnapped from from time itself, so. Oh, that was that was nice. <laughs> Thank you. I enjoyed that. I thought I was I was actually I had a big grin before I said that. Um, they're already stolen, you know. So I I think that it's uh I think that you could. So you, you in some ways, else. a victimless crime because. Well, I think that's a. I think a lot of people would not bat an eye. I think is what I'm is what I'm getting at. You have a you have a five year old girl. Put that little yes. bitch's face all over the news. People are gonna be like, "Oh my god!" Right? You put like an old timey Amish photo that was taken the last week, but it feels like it was taken two hundred years ago of a person. They're gonna be like, "Okay." I don't think that I don't think the public would care. I guess is what I'm saying. I have never seen an Amber Alert for Amish 
people. Yeah, Jebediah Longsmith <laughs> has been taking from his butter stall. People, <laughs> I've never, I've never seen that in my pop up iPhone. To be fact, though, they're not, to be fair though, they're not tagged. So how would you know? They're not air tagged. How the fuck would you ever find them? <laughs> the moment my child is born, I'm going to fucking yeah. shove an air tag right under gonna, their skin. Going to cut a, a small square in his forearm and shove an air tag in there. I love Good. that. Good. Now I'll never. And then I forget <laughs> yeah. that you have to change the batteries on them. Oh, oh shit. Oh, golly. <laughs> oh, dang it. Don't they, don't they, um, they like start to jingle too if you jostle them. Like it thinks it's looking for it, you know what I'm saying? Cleaner, man. No, that's Cleaner, man. They ju- I think they jingle when like it's a air tag that's not supposed to be with you. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, well, mine are all mine are all misconfigured. So. I I know a lot about the air tag mm-hmm. missing persons law. <laughs> <laughs> I have a thorough knowledge on that. Is, yeah. the, is there any fun Apple events coming? Is Apple's big thing now just going to be the Vision Pro? Or is there going to be any hype MacBooks coming out again? Because a couple of years ago when the MacBook, when the update MacBooks came out, that was very fun listening to Tom. Bro, that, that, this MacBook about. has fucking been crushing it since I got it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it was a worthy purchase. But um, I, I think maybe the <laughs> thing that will appeal to you guys the most is I think they're like overhauling the iPad Pro. Oh, really? In what way? So, I, I don't know. Hmm. I, I thought that they were Dude, doing I'm, something where it's like 3D software or something. I thought that was like they're doing something to where it's computing power can do 3D <clears> stuff. Is what I is what I thought I heard. I don't know. I don't they know. did come I out. I just wish cool it had black um, MacBook. I wish it had uh, tracking of the cursor when you hold the pencil over it, like a Wacom. It does. You know? The new ones do. Oh no! Shit! Really? Wow. Uh huh. Might have to trade in for that. Why do you? Why do you <laughs> might want have that? to spend a five hundred extra dollars so I can see well, where my cursor is? Because then you have a travel Wacom, so you can just plug into your Mac. Yeah, but what does having kinda, the cursor do? Like, why does that matter? No, well, I mean, right now it's it's just I don't know. It's just jarring to me. Like, if you float, if you try to do like your regular animation work or assets work or whatever you do in Flash or whatever, um, the cursor like stays away until you click you know what i mean and then it just moves while you're clicking them your eyes can't possibly there. fathom the like, calculation of where the it's, pen tip is going to land on the page it's friction Tom. don's it's friction. don's uh yellowish pink glassy eyes <laughs> staring at the ipad <laughs> <laughs> mustache mustache dribbling milk <laughs> down onto the down, on, <laughs> down onto the, the screen <laughs> just looking at it blankly <laughs> <laughs> what the what the hell am I looking at here? I need them to I need, I need them to overhaul this thing or something. It's a lot <laughs> to process. Just drawing an inch off every time. Yeah. God, God damn it! Oh. <laughs> Again, God. <laughs> Don, why are assets taking so long? I'm, I'm working on it. You've been painting a rock for three and a half weeks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a super rocks. detailed rock. Oh, it's a photo study. Whatever. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I can't say. I'm, 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 I'm trying to think about the. Have you the legitimate... have you worked? Have you worked with your iPad on your like drawing an asset, like a caricature or something in Flash? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't annoy you that the cursor like. Doesn't follow the pen tip. Well, no, because my the pen, like I'm physically touching the <laughs> pen to the screen, so I can, I'm just watching the line get well, made, anyways. I don't know, man. Maybe when you get to my level of artistic <laughs> prowess, it'll bother I you. I see the image being drawn with me, but the goddamn cursor just doesn't move. <laughs> yeah, it is. I think it's just severe autism. Like you can't just fathom the idea of that thing just no. sitting there. It has to follow it's you. Mi- it's mild, <laughs> mostly undetectable autism. Why is it? Why is it thwarting me like this? It's mocking me. <laughs> it why probably, is it mocking me? Probably a little bit, to be fair. That's probably part of it. You also, you also have kind of an older. Upsets me. You have an older iPad too. I mean, it, even if it wasn't for no, the, it's not it's that, his iPad, no, is new I, as fuck. I, oh, your no, his I, iPad's new. Yeah, yeah it's like 
year and a half, maybe. Oh, um, then I, I yeah, I, I probably just haven't seen it a while because you had that one that was like, I, I, the, did you even have the one? I'm trying <laughs> where to you have to like, like take out the Apple pencil and that. like assemble five parts. And you had to what? fuck it. You had to fuck your <laughs> iPad with it to um, charge it. So, yeah, something like that. I, I, it was like a weird case though. Because mm-hmm. the last time I thought that I, it was, I thought it was he had like the like the preemie the preemie baby iPad thing where they put like the gel cover over it. So if the baby throws the thing on the ground, it protects it. <laughs> I could have swore you had that, and then you put the you put the pin you, you put the pin inside the thing like that. I could have swore you bust that out, and it was like a big gel thing. And I'm like, I could have swore I had, Allison's I did, nieces I did have, have this. this. I did have this big <laughs> stupid thing that Tom bought. That I got second hand mm. that had like the, uh, like a keyboard. Built you know, into when it. you get something second hand, you don't have to use it. You can just stop using it. Well, famine mentality. <laughs> this is Tom's. This is Tom's <laughs> doing. That I'm stuck with yeah. this forever. I'm stuck with this. <laughs> <laughs> it had it had the little um the keyboard which she used now, but we have the expensive like official Apple one because the business pays for it. So who cares? How official? <sighs> Very official yeah. sounding. I'm cool. I don't use fucking cases anymore because I'm not a poor. You don't use. Yes, you do. You use the thing with the fucking <laughs> not, keyboard. Not a poor. Makes it a laptop. You I ne- I never use that like ever. You just you just took it off. Yeah. Yeah, I just take it off. No, I'm kind nice. of a fucking free spirit, I like so I don't know what to tell you. I've never used an iPad to really with the keyboard. I was, I, it's I, handy for like some like if you want to type an email or something. But I just I'll, I'll, I'll fuck I'll, I'll, I'll fucking wait, dude. Yeah, exactly. We were at the coffee shop having that disgusting ass coffee and someone busts out an iPad and starts typing. I'm always just like, get a fucking laptop, goon. Is is always what I think, dude. You That's me. That to me. You just think I that. I've never seen you type on your iPad. I've like I said, I've only ever seen you dig through gel to find your pen and you hold this <laughs> you, hold, you hold the uh, it, did, it did have that annoying like slot in the uh yeah and you always you, you like you, you basically fuck your gel pad trying to get in and out of yeah, it yeah you have to i've always to i was always a little bit yeah i was always it, it always felt borderline inappropriate watching you dig for that fucking mm-hmm. pen and then you have to pop the uh the ipad's ass out to fuck it with the pen to exactly. charge it so on it's like, one side. It feels like a very violating experience, honestly. <laughs> like the thing has to come out of it like that. <laughs> the, thing, the thing has to come out of it like that. It's like bare. It's just like laid out there for the world to see, laid bare, just penetrated at the bottom. And then you're sitting there talking to you're like looking around the room, just waiting for this thing to charge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to stop drawing. Yeah, but, you have to stop. Uh, it's it's the it, that was, was that was the dumbest fucking way to charge that pen. I fucking hated that. I had one of those mm-hmm. a long time ago, and I remember I I never. Well, also the Apple Pen back then kind of sucked too. Like the newer Apple Pens, where they have like the magnetic side where you can charge that way. Yeah, the they feel better. Like it's it's like fucking. When they were transitioning from versions too, mm-hmm. I think only the Pro did that. Only the Pros, yeah. They're, it's like literally five hundred dollars more for that convenience, but <coughs> totally worth it to not have to fuck your fucking iPad with a pencil. Well, yeah. For for, uh, for context for everybody, it's like the iPad has a charge port, like a phone, right? And the fucking pencil, you would screw the cap off of where the eraser would be, and there was a little like you know cable end, and you just stick that in the end of the iPad. So it's like sticking out of the iPad like a penis. At the bottom, and that's how you had to charge but it with, before they did the magnetic but the, thing. The extra layer, though, that makes it funny for because I, I don't know if it's coming across, but your cover, Don's gel cover, was like a pair of pants you had to pull down because <laughs> yeah, he was in the way. It was <laughs> it's, so it's just like this, it's like this elongated <laughs> cock hanging out of like this like pair of Jinko jeans that are pulled down to this poor iPad's <laughs> ankles. <laughs> Don's in there drinking chocolate milk at a coffee shop, waiting for this thing. (laughs) (laughs) Sir, could you you try to drink your chocolate milk a bit more quiet? You're disrupting the other patrons. (laughs) It's like gulping it down like that. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, that was good. I loved going there. I hated the coffee. Every time, That's fair. I did like their. Do they they ever, do pastries. Uh, 
Do you do you ever miss it? You ever miss being with the boys and where we were at? Oh yeah, definitely. I, I liked I liked going to the coffee shop and stuff like that. It's just terrible coffee, terrible. Oh dog shit, terrible. <clears throat> but the vibe oh, yeah. was good. Vibe was good. And it was it was in yeah. like a perfect spot, extremely convenient spot. Yeah, everything's changing. It's kind of kind of bittersweet. Well, that's the I thing. Back at those times. Well, that's I'm I, curious. I don't know what the I, uh, yeah. I'm curious. I just, I just wish I like appreciated it more while it was happening. You know, yeah. it was a good time. Hindsight, hindsight, 2020. Yep. You know, what do you That's do? Right. The, uh, do? I'm curious how, what's going to happen when you move and you guys are separated again. Well, it's like, unless when we have somebody in town, we, we, we already all right separate. We, we never fucking see each other anyway. Yeah. I'll, I'll go what like a month and about? a half without seeing Tom. It's the same. So. It's going to be exactly the same. Yeah. Except, um, well, that's why I was asking what, what kind of spot you're gonna get because you gotta, you need like a 20 foot room to have a green screen, you know? Nah, I fucking, if James Lee can, well, that's probably not fair. I was gonna say, if James Lee can do it with like three inches of green fabric, I can too, but then I realized I'm not James Lee. Yeah, I was and gonna maybe say that's, that's uh, not realistic. That's James it also Lee. Has to, it also has to match, our shots have to match the same lighting and everything. You know, well, so sounds like uh, sounds like the business has to buy me a giant fucking mansion, which in England will cost twenty <laughs> billion dollars. So <laughs> there's that for you. <laughs> oh, I, I love that. It's a business expense. I'm like, how much fucking money do you guys have? God damn. Not that much. <laughs> you don't. You don't. <laughs> not you with don't, Space King. You don't have twenty two billion to buy the mansion. I'm spending on Sadly. Space King. I'm working on it. So this, this has been like fucking. I sure hope people like this cartoon. Any more updates on when <laughs> it might come out? It's gonna we be. We are saying the twenty second. Twenty second. Woo! Yeah. Is that what we decided? That's what we said yesterday. <laughs> ah, oh, but then we decided it <laughs> might be better if it's on like a Saturday, coming. right? Uh, yeah. I don't know. The weekend that, of the that weekend. That weekend, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the 24th. Yep. Something like that. Yeah, maybe Saturday. Ah, uh, two weeks. Yeah, wow. I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. Just fucking kill me already. I'm done. I'm so done. Whenever it comes out and it's all nice and good, though, you're going to be like, yay. That was worth it. After two and a half or, or like three months of zero uploads and YouTube's like, do these guys even care anymore? I guess we're going to bomb this latest release. Nah. Nah. That's okay. just, that's just my, that's well, just, that's just my answer to that. Nah. Well, you think if it was you, would you be, Me would Canyon you be panicking? Hunter's going to do a brute force push on all his channels for us. Oh, that's nice. Make sure it goes to. off. It was really nice of him. The one. We're, we're doing a companion piece on both Meat Canyon and Papa Meat to support our, our pilot um, launch. Yeah. Yes. Uh, thanks, bro. Yes. <laughs> kind. Very kind. All right. Well, on that promise, um, I guess that's the episode, huh? That's Probably the episode. Promised, but there we go. Hey, whatever. We talked about genocide and slaves. That's, that was an episode of Cream Crew. All right. Bye. <laughs> Thank you guys. Sign up to the Patreon for more of that. <laughs>